I say to Mr. Nixon, and I say to Mr. Wallace, that what we need is a discussion of the problems that concern the American people, and we need to stand on the same platform at the same time before the same audience. The president is too busy to debate. I suspect that the true reason Mr. Nixon will not debate is that he is afraid not so much of me, but of the people. I'm ready, I'm eager to go before the American people and debate the real issues face to face with Jimmy Carter. Wow, for the past six decades, presidential debates have been a staple of election cycles, but we're now getting a look at what could be the biggest change in a generation. We've had televised debates in most elections since the 1960 Nixon-Kennedy debate, but that could change after the Republican Party recently withdrew from events held by the Commission on Presidential Debates. The commission has been running the show since 1988, and right now there is no clear alternative on which Democrats and Republicans have agreed. Let's go to NBC News national political correspondent Steve Kornacki, proving he can do anything at the big board. Steve, where is this debate over the debates headed? Yeah, Miko, there's a lot of possible directions this could go, and I think one thing that might be useful is to look at the history of the modern presidential debate because it's been a very bumpy an uneven history. Of course, you start with 1960, the famous Nixon-Kennedy debate that got it all started. A lot of people think that got it started and we've been going ever since. That's actually not the way things played out because after the Kennedy-Nixon debates of 1960, we can show you here, we actually entered a period that lasted three presidential elections where there were no debates. You had LBJ, Goldwater in 64. LBJ said, I got, I'm way ahead in the polls. I got no reason to debate. In 68, George Wallace, the segregationist independent candidate, was in the race. Nixon did not want to have him on any debate stage. It complicated negotiations in 72. You saw George McGovern was getting clobbered by Nixon. Nixon didn't see an incentive. So we had the start in 1960. Then we had three straight elections where there were no presidential debates and what changed everything, and we can show you here, you saw that clip, it was in 1976. And that was when Gerald Ford, remember Gerald Ford was the unelected president, he'd been appointed vice president, succeeded to the presidency when Nixon resigned, he was behind in the polls. Jimmy Carter was the former one-term governor of Georgia, he felt he needed to, uh, to increase his stature. They both saw an incentive, this was the key, in 76, both Carter and Ford Ford saw an incentive to debate, and so the debates were back on, and they turned to the League of Women Voters. It was the League of Women Voters who sponsored the 76 debate. It continued in 80. It almost didn't happen in 80, but at the last minute, Carter and Reagan debated. Reagan got that famous line off, there you go again, won the election. And by 1984, the pattern was starting to get established, and that is when the next big change happened. That's when the two major parties looked at this and said, why are we letting the League of Women Voters uh, set this up? Why don't we do it ourselves? And that's where we have been ever since. This Commission on Presidential Debates was set up by the two major parties. And you can see there have been debates in every cycle since then. And again, it has been bumpy. You know, in 1992, President Bush, Bush Sr. at the time, he skipped the first commission debate. His campaign had all sorts of issues with it. Folks who remember that campaign may remember the Clinton campaign sent people dressed as chickens to Bush events, trying to <laughs> taunt him into debating. In 2008, remember that first debate, John McCain called for its cancellation because of the economic crisis in September 2000. So there's been drama around these debates, but they have had the commission. They have been doing this since uh, since 18. But now, as you say, with the Republican National Committee backing out of the commission, the question becomes what happens in 24? Do the campaigns just negotiate themselves and debates look the same? Do they negotiate something that looks totally different? Or is it even possible we go back to that debate desert era and we just don't have them? Well, you started answering my question, Steve. What might these debates look like? If you have the RNC saying, okay, we're not playing this game anymore. We don't like the moderators. We've always complained about the moderators. Let's say Donald Trump runs again in 2024. He gets to dictate the terms of the debate. What network hosts it? Who the moderator is? What do you think it could look like coming up here in a couple of years? Yeah, I mean, I think it looks like at this point, if this is the position the Republican National Committee and its nominee hold to, then you've got direct negotiations between the candidates 
campaigns would be how you would get a debate. And, and obviously, it would depend who the nominee is for the Republicans. But that's when I say, could a new format emerge? I mean, all bets are kind of off then. But, you know, maybe it, it is a compromise here. Does each side get sort of somebody they consider, you know, somebody sympathetic to them? As part of a panel, could we have something like that where you have more partisan debate moderators, one from the left, one from the right? Do you get something like that? Is that a compromise that emerges? Th these things, it could change dramatically once you take out the, the arbiter who's been there for the last three decades. And like I said, there's so many ways for these people to get on the air now. Maybe they go back to where they were in the 60s and 70s and say, we don't need it. Wow. Steve Kornacki, thank you very much. I think that would be a loss, Willie. I think the debates can be such a valuable part of the election process, maybe like they do in France, where they have the candidates just at a small table talking to each other. I would love to watch that. that